All right, what's up guys? It's me, Justin Khan, your favorite founder's favorite founder, back at it again with another video. Changing my habits changed my life. I'd founded and sold a billion dollar company, but I wasn't happy until I started doing these things. Today, I wanted to tell you about my habit tracking app, Kin, and why I started it, what it is, why it's helped me. My goal is that whether you use the app or not, you can take some things back to your life and uh, hopefully it'll be useful to you. How's it going? I'm Justin. Justin Khan from Justin.tv. All right, guys. So three years ago, I read Atomic Habits by James Clear. And this book changed my life. The idea behind Atomic Habits is really simple. It contained everything that James learned about building habits. In the book, he defines a bunch of different techniques for how to develop habits on your own. There were a couple of things that stood out to me from the book. Number one was that it's all about the framework for building habits. It's not about getting to any specific goal. It's really about creating a framework in your life that helps you execute that habit every day. The other thing was that really just the idea that I could change my habits at all. The way I'd approached all of life was that you're the person that you are when you become 18. You know, whatever skills, attributes, habits that I'd formed when I was a kid, as soon as I became an adult, that's what I was gonna carry on for the rest of my life. And people don't change. Like I, I literally thought it was incapable for people to adopt new habits or change. So when I read James' book, it was a big wake up to me. I was like, oh shit, maybe I can change my habits. And at the same time, I've talked about this before, I was at a point in my life where I wasn't very happy with how things were going. I had uh, been really successful. We'd started Twitch, we'd sold it for a billion dollars, but I was still chasing. You know, I'd started another company, other companies, I'd been an investor and I was still like, there's something more, I'm not getting what I want. I was promised like this pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, if I just do these things and execute and become successful. And I'd done all of that and I, I got there and I still, I felt that life was still hollow. It wasn't as satisfying as I expected it to be. So then I'd read James' book and I was like, oh, Maybe I can change how things are, not on the external. Maybe I'm, I'm trying to find peace outside of myself. And that hasn't been working. So maybe if I found those things that made me feel good every day, that will improve my life. I started testing daily habits that I thought would improve my life. Some of those things were meditation, improving my diet, exercising every day, keeping a daily, daily gratitude journal, quitting alcohol was another one. And what I found was, even though I had tried uh, to adopt habits in the past and failed, a couple things helped me out this time. One of those things was making it not a choice. So I wasn't deciding to do a habit. I, was, I said, I'm gonna do something every day. And then another thing that really helped was giving myself the little boost of momentum by downloading a habit tracker app. And every day I would check off the habit that I was trying to do. So let's say I wasn't drinking. Every morning I'd open this app and I'd press this button, I'm not gonna drink today. And that was just a little bit of momentum to keep me on the path. And that helped me get to that initial seven days, 21 days, 30 days, where that habit started to become part of my identity. The same was true for exercising, the same was true for diet, the same was true for meditation. It got to the point where I would meditate. There were days I didn't wanna meditate, but I did because I was like, well, if I break this streak, you know, I've already got 30 days. And if I stop meditating now I, and I still have to start a new streak, I'm just never gonna meditate again. So I've like, I've got to do it for the sake of keeping up this streak. So that was one thing that was really powerful for me. The second thing that was really powerful for me was social accountability. This means telling other people that I was gonna do something or making a commitment to them and having my fear of letting them down make me accountable. So there were many ways this manifested. For working out, uh, working out with a buddy and he would show up in the morning at my house, at my home gym, and I was like, oh, I can't not go downstairs, right? Or I'd hire a personal trainer and I was committed to this person that I was gonna work out. For alcohol, for quitting drinking, I announced it on Twitter and I was like, I'm no longer drinking. I've struggled with alcohol my whole life and I'm gonna quit drinking. And then that was enough of an impetus that it made me feel like I would be a hypocrite if someone saw me drinking at a party or you know, I was known that I like didn't fall through on my commitments to what I had said online. So I found that social accountability really helped me get that boost uh, to adopt the habits that I wanted to have in my life. So using those techniques, I was able to completely transform how I felt every day. So after a couple of years, I decided 
I wanted to take what worked for me and turn it into an app that helped other people adopt habits. Well, really, that was a daily driver app for me, an app I would use every day myself and love using, and then would help other people adopt healthy habits as well. And so that app is Kin. So I've been working on this app with my friends Omar, Damien, and Amith for about a year, and we've had a lot of fun building it because we've been building something for ourselves. And very simply, what it is, is it's a habit tracker where you put in the things you wanna do whatever schedule you want to do them. So it could be daily, it could be weekly, etc. And whenever you open the app, there's your list of habits and you just press and check off the ones that you do as you do them. So that's one part of it. And then the second part is that you're able to easily create groups to hold yourself accountable. So I could create a group, I have a meditation group, for example, with a couple of friends of mine, and I have an exercise group with a couple of different friends. And every time I check off my habit, everybody in that group knows that I did it and vice versa. So I can help be an accountability partner for them and they can help be an accountability partner for me. There's a ton of other features we built in. We made it kind of like a journal so you can add a note or a photo to any of your habit completions. If you don't have any friends in the app, we have automatic matching with like-minded accountability buddies so that you can find someone to hold you accountable. We're building a lot more features out. We're building social feeds so you can follow someone else's activity on the app and uh, see their profiles of what they're trying to work on. In terms of habit tracking, we try to build the very best habit tracker out there. There's a lot of other habit trackers. Uh, we've taken a lot of what we love from other ones and put it into Kin. So we've built this habit dashboard. We've built a lot of different celebrations of milestones that pop up to make you, give you that extra boost that you're like you're on the right track. We help you track all the data that matters so you can see all the st stats. You can, so you can see stats on your completions, your history for every habit. On top of that, we've also tried to build a couple courses into the app uh, to teach you about different skills that you might wanna learn. So of course, we're at habit formation. I, I, I did one. Uh, courses around exercise, meditation, etc. Things that really helped me live a fully activated, healthy, happy life. So I want to end with what's the purpose of building this app? For me, you know, I spent a lot of my career on Justin TV and then Twitch. And my friend Amith, who's working on SAP with me, he was the creator of Farmville at Zynga. There's been so much brain power that's gone into building social experiences on first the web and now on iPhone and Android and on mobile that are about addicting us to things, for getting us compelled to do things that are good for the companies that make the products. I think one potential future for social software is that we start to make social software that does things that's good for us, the consumers. You know, it helps us be better people, helps us learn faster, helps us be kinder and more compassionate. And I'm super excited about building that kind of product. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to build Kin. It was something that I wanted for myself and it was something that I felt like could be really good for the people who used it. So our goal with Kin is to help people connect around their healthy habits, healthy behaviors, form connections around that. I think being part of a community is such an important part of personal growth. When you feel like you're supported by the people around you, it's easy uh, to grow. It's easy to stick with the things that are positive in your life. When you don't have that support network, it's much, much harder. It's a heavy lift. So we wanted to create the app that was ground zero for that type of transformation for people. If you're interested in working on that mission, we are hiring founding rules at Kin. I'll drop a link below. You can check them out. So if you're interested, the app's free. It's on the app store right now. Uh, both Android and iPhone. You can download it today. Let me know what your feedback is in the comments below. I'm always looking for feedback. We're always trying to improve it. We're really building for ourselves. We love working on this. So uh, let us know what you think. And as always, you know what to do. If you like this video, smash subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next week. Boom.